In February this year, at a vast location in central India, there was a motorsports event. This four-day event played host to almost 5,000 engineering students who came from across the country. There were inspections, there was action aplenty, there was heartbreak and wild celebration. And everything that happened here will have a strong influence on shaping the cars that you and I will drive in the years to come. Stay with us to find out why. Hello and welcome to the grand finale of Mahindra Baha SAE India 2014. The leading event in the country that gives the best and brightest engineering minds in India the chance to get both their hands and wheels dirty. The event that mentors and supports engineering students from across the country as they design, develop and finally race their custom buggies under the watchful gaze of the biggest names in the auto industry. Over the next hour, we'll meet the teams that will battle it out for top honours. Join them out on the course as they work relentlessly to ensure their buggies pass every static and dynamic test and meet the people working tirelessly behind the scenes to make this massive event possible. So settle down, strap on your seat belts and join us for what I promise will be a very bumpy but entertaining ride. But first, let's start things off with the story of an event that first took shape seven years ago and has grown from strength to strength since. The first edition of Baja SAE India, held in 2007, attracted 27 entries. After a break in 2008, Baja SAE India has become an annual event, with the next five editions growing in terms of both numbers and influence within the student community and the automotive industry. Something that has made the man, widely known as the driving force behind Baja in India, very proud. The reason we started this was, first I was familiar with SAE Baja event that is held in US primarily. And second, it was very clear that the auto industry as we move forward needs many engineers uh, who have passion for automobiles. It's not just about having done some courses, but passion for automobiles. And that was kind of missing in college campuses. So we thought that if we could bring this event in India and create that excitement about, about automobile engineering, about design, about running a car, that would perhaps start making a difference. Our initial idea of Baha was an out-of-classroom education where we need to train the students of how to design the car, how to make the car, how to validate the car, and then finally how to run the car in the endurance event. And I think fairly good enough from 27 teams in 2007 to 125 teams in 2014, we have grown to that stage that we get an ample satisfaction of what we have done. Over the last uh, six, seven events, now Baha has graduated from a very, very, I would say, small event where there was a lot of clumsiness in the beginning. And today it is a very professional event where the quality of uh, event has gone up way ahead. I mean, it has gone by order, uh, the quality of the uh, event which is there. And which brings basically requirement of bringing out the innovation and creativity in students. I think future is going to be much brighter. Uh, we are going to go internationally in future and we will have a lot of other things are there. A lot of exciting things are there in future. The organizing committee has seen the numbers swell as the event itself has grown in popularity over the years. The first Baja had just 27 entries, while in 2014, 325 teams from engineering colleges across the country signed up for stage one, the virtual Baja, where they presented their designs to a jury of professionals from the auto industry. Introduced for the first time in 2010, the virtual Baja is a concept unique to the Indian competition. In contrast to the first-come, first-served basis of selection at the American event, in India, the virtual Baja acts as an elimination round while also giving the students a much-needed platform to validate their designs and proposed workflow before entering the build process. Virtual Baja is a term which is not actually existent in the international, so since we have a lot of inflow, we have this first scrutinized stage where the students go for a presentation round, uh, they design this vehicle and they have to present the vehicle in terms of soft format. So they present the design, they present the costing, they present uh, uh, everything which is related to the soft analysis work on the vehicle. And based on the confidence what we get that whether this vehicle would be really good in terms of design, in terms of quality and in terms of the overall uh, vehicle specs as per the rule book, we qualify them. Virtual round is basically you are you are tested on what have you done in your design, uh, designing phase, what are the analysis for, uh, you have done, what is the concept of your car, what are you going to make uh, in the, for the Baja event.
The 125 teams who made the shortlist for the grand finale come here to the Natrax facility in Pitampur on the outskirts of Indore, home base for the grand finale of Mahindra Baha SAE India 2014, where bespoke facilities have been created for the event across a sprawling 220 acres. And you know what? You have to take a look around and really take this all in and only then do you really appreciate scale of the facilities and preparations required to run an event like the Baha. With the organizers having to plan for 125 teams this year, the event facilities have been expanded even further, with the central stage area and food tent growing in size and more pit facilities and food stalls added on to cater for the growth in numbers. On the technical front, a new concrete ramp with a 26 degree incline was built for the hill climb, new tracks were created for manoeuvring and suspension tests, while the main circuit itself was also widened to create space for more cars. You know, when Dr. Pawan Goenka, uh, he was searching for land to organize this event, our first CEO, Mr. Sunil Chaturvedi, he had no hesitation to offer the land to organize this event. And uh, subsequently, an MOU also was uh, signed between uh, Baha, uh, Baha SA India and the NATREP, so that, you know, we are able to organize this event for years to come. With the organizers successfully raising the bar, the onus then was firmly on the teams to showcase their improvements. Time for us to take a quick commercial break, but coming up on the other side, we'll continue with our build-up to the grand finale of Mahindra Baha SAE India 2014. We'll meet some of the teams and check out some of the static and dynamic tests.